Is it true that you hung out with Andy Warhol, like, in the club? And <gasps> if so... Wow. What was he like? Got this random phone call, Andy Warhol wants to invite you to lunch, and I was like, I'm coming. And uh, I was at lunch with, like, him, Bianca Jagger, uh -huh. Rupert Everett, oh, Quentin wow. Crisp, who was insane. It was the most brilliant guest. Oh, wow. Quentin Crisp was hilarious. And, yeah, because Keith Herron was there. Oh, was wow. Amazing. Wow. But, you know, he always took photos of you all the time. He always used to say, can I take a picture? And uh, he was just very, like, yeah, it was kind of hard to read, really. Wow. Do you have those pictures that he took of you? Yeah, yeah, I have some I took of him as well that are amazing. Oh, yeah. my God. In fact, in his diaries, he insults me four times. Congratulations. <laughs> He's like, I mean, he was nasty about everybody, which was hilarious, but every entry is vile. <laughs> really? And obviously, I didn't find out until he passed away, but I did love it. I was like, I'm kind of flattered that he cared enough to say. Yes, of course. <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's get into the headlines. We are here at the news desk. Um, first up, Variety reports four separate Beatle movies are set to be made by one director, and that director is none other than the brilliant Sam Mendes. And so John, Paul, George, and Ringo will each have a feature film from wow. their point of view in the band. Oh, interesting. The films yeah, will yeah. intersect to you. tell the stories of the band forming leading up to their 1970 breakup. Paul, Ringo, and the families of the late John Lennon and George Harrison have granted full life and music rights for these scripted films, which is unprecedented and has never been given to a production about anything to do with the Beatles ever in the history. Whoa. I know, this is big That's, news. I got chills. Yeah. Four different films overlapping. Also, I think you think that you're gonna go into obvious ones. I'm really interested in Ringo's story. Yeah, you know, oh, I'm interested you? I always in, was I mean, a Ringo I girl. Lennon and yeah. George Harrison. Did says. you ever meet any of the Beatles? I met Paul McCartney. Uh-huh. And um, uh, unfortunately, I mean, my hero, George Harrison, obviously, loved George Harrison. Never got to meet him, but I always loved him. Wow, I met Paul McCartney once. You know what he said to me? Hi. He did. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, people would say, oh, what's your I'll favorite beat? And I'm like, yeah. what sort of questions are that? They're I all know. great. They're so all great. Right. 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 All right, Chloe, your You're headline. Up. Ooh, okay. Page Six reports that Martha Stewart has revealed she doesn't wear underwear, only oh. swimsuits under her clothes. She said, quote, I like bathing suits. I like wearing bathing suits under my clothes just in case I want to go <laughs> swimming. <laughs> yes, Perfect. that's exactly how she said. <laughs> oh, we'll work on it. I'll buy the wig. Get the wig. Uh, I'll, I'll get the wig and channel her. Oven, get the wig. Martha also stated she didn't like any of the structured stuff and hates tight lace. Either one of you, uh, do you ever go commando or is that a no-no? I oh. do, yeah. You do? I and do. so does Drew. My daughter tries to pants me all the time, too, because she knows <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, can we just? It's a, it's a joke. I yeah, mean, yeah, of course. But yeah. yeah, I'm like, just make sure this is an inside the house thing. Totally. Yes. Um, yes. yes. I have like worn bathing suits when I run out of. It, it's usually my journey is like I've run out of underwear, then I'll wear a bathing suit, and it's kind of like a spank, and then I'll go commando. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll get my laundry back. Yeah. I enjoy commando. I think why? Because be it freaks me out. I, it makes me so anything oh, come could happen. No, it could go real left. You know what I mean? You mean like having your daughter come up and pull your pants down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What do you like about it? Well, I wear sweatpants. Uh huh. Yeah. So round of applause just... for women wearing sweatpants. <laughs> we said the very 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 sweatpants. I wear it every day, <laughs> and there's just this nice sort of sweatshirt material. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. What did Carl Lagerfeld say about sweatpants? Um, people that win have given up. Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You've lost control of your life, and so you bought some sweatpants. That's Carl Lagerfeld. <laughs> well, finally, we have some nostalgia news. Yes. Hello, Peachy. All right, Scary Mommy reports that if you grew up in the 80s, uh, you have skills that will blow the socks off the younger generation, okay? And the skills might be totally useless now, but kids today are seeing them as cool, like uh, knowing how to use a landline. How about using paper <laughs> maps? Anyone remember paper oh, yeah. maps and folding them? Remember the Thomas Guide? Oh yes. my God, of course. What about looking up a phone number in a phone book? <laughs> Or I'll oh, remember shopping in a catalog. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Yes. Ordering. I love catalogs. Oh, about catalog. what? the underwear section of the catalog. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh yeah. In the seventies, that's all we had. That's all. <laughs> 
and it should I'm be... not looking, Mom. Yeah. And as a parent raising kids today, <laughs> I wish I don't we like were it. in those yeah. days. It's yeah. so hard now. Could I miss we how, still like, bounce from now? Oh! Do you know what that is? Surprise. Mail, you come up to the mailbox. Oh! So we okay. never know what's going to come out here. Cute. Chloe, will you do the honors? Do the honors? Oh, yeah, go for it. <gasps> Oh, hello, oh, and hi. Love the box. Oh, there's probably like, like more. Read like, what's on the card? Yeah. Or do you want to? We you don't know. It's it? a surprise. Welcome to the Drew's News time capsule from the 1980s. Open for some surprises. Oh, what do we have? Oh, hi. We have a... <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh wow. wow. What May I? Look. It's a time capsule. You want to open it up? <laughs> oh, it's stuff in there's it. There's stuff in it. It's a time capsule. Okay. Let's oh. see. Yeah, oh. here. We can take it out. Uh huh. Oh. Wow. Phone a phone book. Yeah. book. We were just talking about this, right? Oh my God, this is old too. What? Oh, there's other the stuff in here. Ready? Do you know what this oh, used yeah, to be here. really good for? Also, this. Oh yeah. Oh yes. For the seat. There's more in there. As Chloe. a child, that's all we got given was booster oh, seats and oh. landline phone. Remember that phone? Oh my phone? God, that is the best phone. <laughs> but do you remember? This was my favorite thing growing up is you get a call and it's like, is Chloe there? And then it would be like a boy asking you out or something. I don't know, the romance of a landline. You oh don't know gosh, who totally. is calling. Of course. What else is in there? <laughs> maps. Oh, oh Drew, your I favorite. love maps so much. Maps are the best. Oh, uh, blast from the past. It the good is a old blast days. from the past. How well, wild. you know what is timeless? Chloe Feynman and Boy George. Exactly. And this Guess what? I'm going to throw it a commercial and let you know that Chloe's going to ask George what he thinks about on the toilet. That's coming up. Oh, yes, wow. It is. 